What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to talk about pacing. So many projects, such as renovations, proceed in paces. So each representing a distinct time period in the life of the project. So basically, the, the paces tool or the pacing will let you to be aware of the time on what is happening on your project. Okay, so this is what we are going to do in this exercise. So we're going to create and then we're going to use uh, paces. If I'm going to click the paces here, it's here on the manage tab, pacing, paces. If I click that, we have here three tabs. So we have the project paces, project filters, and then the graphic overrides. So these are the tabs that we will be using on our paces. So for the meantime, I'm going to cancel this. So by the way, we have two project paces here. So we have the existing pace and then we have the new construction uh, pace. All right. So let me just cancel this first. So let's say, for example, this building is already existing. So when you go to the site, this building is already there. So basically, this building is existing. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of this model like this. And then from the properties, I'm going to change here the pace, the pace created. So right now it says here new construction, but as you can see, it's already existing. So when we go to the site, there is already the house. So basically that's already existing. So I'm going to change here the pace created to existing. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to select here apply and then just click outside. Okay, so basically, it will af apply now the paste filter for existing elements, which is gray. So if we check the paces here, we check the graphic overrides here, the existing here, as you can see, is gray. That's why it looks like this. <clears throat> All right. So after we change or set the model paste property of our uh, building here, so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to create paces and set up the view. Okay, so let's create uh, paces here. So let's go back again to the paces here. And then here, I'm going to create another pace. So I'm going to select new, new construction. And then after that, I'm going to select uh, insert before. Anyway, we're going to change the name of that uh, later on. Okay, so we have the existing and then we have the second pace here. I'm going to change the name of this. So let's say I will call this, uh, let's say exterior renovation. Okay, and then this one here, I'm going to change this to interior renovation. Okay, so existing is the oldest space here. Next is exterior renovation. And then the latest space is interior renovation. Okay, so that's how you read your project paces. The top portion here that is the oldest uh, pace, the second, and then the last one here that will going to be your latest uh, pace. Okay. So next, let's go to the graphic overrides. So let's click this one. And then for the demolish, I want to change this to color red. So I want to change uh, I want to change the lines of my demolish to red color. So I'm going to select here red. Okay. Okay, and then same with the cut here. So I'm going to select that color. Let me change that to red. Okay. So that any demolished elements that we are going to apply on our model, it will become uh, red. Okay. And then I'm going to select here. Okay. So remember, we created a new paste here and then change the name. And then we change here the color of our demolished lines. All right. So let me select here. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is going to my project browser. I'm going to duplicate my level one. So let's open up the level one. Okay. So let me right click this and then let me duplicate. Just duplicate will do. 
and then let us change the name so I'm gonna change this to level one existing oops enter okay and then we are going to duplicate this one again our level one let's duplicate that and we are gonna call this uh, exterior renovation or exterior demolition because we're going to do some demolition in our building so exterior demolition and then we are also going to create again let's duplicate level one we're going to work on the level one okay so let's rename that and then let's call it uh, main entry duplicate again the level one let's call this interior demolition enter and then the last one duplicate level one again so let's call this interior renovation okay enter all right so this is our level one okay and then this is our level one existing okay so for our level one existing so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna check the properties here and then look at the uh, pace here since we named this level one existing so it is right to change the pace here instead of interior renovation we're gonna change that to existing because remember existing this is the oldest space and then next is exterior renovation and then the newest is uh, interior renovation okay so since this is uh, level one existing so it's only rightful to put the pace of this one to existing and then apply okay so that is our uh, level one existing all right and then after that let's go back to our properties let us change the paste filter here so instead of show all i just want to make this show complete okay show complete and then apply remember if it is show complete let's go back again to our paces and then let's check the paste filter here if it is show complete it will show you the new construction the existing or, or the new elements the existing elements but it will not display any demolish and any temporary elements okay so just remember that so cancel so for our level one existing so we put that to existing pace and then the paste filter is show complete all right so this is now our level one existing so now the next thing that i'm going to do here is i'm going to open up my exterior demolition okay so this is my exterior demolition okay so we will be doing some demolition in this uh, floor plan so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna change first the properties here since this is exterior demolition floor plan I'm going to change the, the pace here so instead of interior renovation I'm gonna change that to exterior renovation and then I'm going to select here show complete and then apply okay and then after that we are going to do some demolition so let's go to the modify tab and then let's look for the hammer so that is our demolish tool so let's click that one and then I'm going to select this and then as you can see it will disappear and then i'm going to select this one as well i want that to be demolished this one as well and this when uh, this wall as well click and automatically the door will disappear because we demolished the wall here and then i'll just select here modify so this is now the setup view for our exterior demolition for level one okay so last time we have the level one existing which is this one and then after that on our exterior demolition if i double click that we now have the demolish elements removed here in this view okay so now the next thing that i'm gonna do here is after the 
exterior demolition. So maybe in the exterior demolition, what I want is, I want to show here the demolish uh, elements. Okay? So I want to show the demolish elements. So what I'm going to do is, from the properties, let us just select here the demolish plus the preview this one there you go so that at least we can tell the team members that will be looking in this floor plan that these are the elements that is demolished in our exterior demolition since we name it exterior demolition i think it would be better to show them the demolition here demolish elements Okay, so we are now done here. So this is our level 1 existing. And then after that, the story, we did some exterior demolition, which is uh, this one. And then let us now do the, the main entry or the exterior renovation. So maybe I'm going to change the name of this to exterior renovation. Okay. So we have the level 1 existing, which is this one. And then we did some demolition, exterior demolition, which is this one. And then we are now going to make the renovation. So I'm going to double click this. Here, I'm going to make sure that the pace here is correct, which is um, exterior renovation pace. And then I want to show here the complete elements or the complete pace and then apply there you go so this is the complete pace remember on the complete pace if i check here pace filters it will show you the new elements existing elements but it will not show you the demolish or temporary elements which is what we want for this view we only want to show here the renovation we don't want to show here the demolition because we already have the floor plan for that which is this one Okay, so let's go to the exterior renovation view. And then let us now put some doors and window. Okay, so where's my door? Okay, so I'll just put the door here. Example there. And then I also want to put uh, windows. Window. So I'll just put one here and then I put another one here. And that's it. So this is now our exterior renovation okay now the next thing that we will be doing let's move on to our interior demolition floor plan so let's double click interior demolition okay so first let's check the properties here let's change the pace here okay so the, the pace here is already correct so we are using interior renovation pace which is the latest pace for this one, since we're going to do some demolition, I'm going to select here uh, the previous elements plus the demo filter and then apply. Okay, and then let us now do again our demolition. So let's go back to our modify tab. Let's click the hammer. So let's demolish this one, this one, this one, this one. All right, and then I'll just select here modify. So this is now our interior demolition floor plan view. Okay, so that's the story. Now, moving to the next space, which is the renovation space. So let's open up our interior renovation. Again, let's check the properties here. So make sure the pace is correct, which is correct. Interior renovation, that's the latest space. And then the pace filter here, show complete. We don't want to show the demolish elements here. And then apply. There you go. And then let us now do some the, uh, renovation. So I will select wall. And let's say I'm going to add a wall here up to here. Okay. Let me select that mirror to the other side. So I'm just doing some renovation, for example. And then let's say I'm going to put a door here, single door. Up, oh, wait, I want wall again here. So from here to here, here to here, and then let us put door. 
single door that one and then modify so this is now the interior renovation okay so the story is when you went to the site you have this existing building and then after that you did some demolition so that's why you have now this one that shows the demolition element on the exterior part so after you did the demolition you did the renovation so that's why you now have this one so you have the renovation here so you have a couple of windows here and then the door and then moving to the next space you did some interior demolition so that's why you have this okay and then the last space is that you did the renovation which is this one okay so that's how you use your pace if uh, if you go to the 3d view so this is how you do it so you can change the properties here so let's say you want to show the latest pace here so I'm going to select this to show complete and then the latest space is interior renovations apply so this is now how it looks like right so if you want to see the demolition before you can select exterior renovation or the you want to see the renovation on the exterior pace renovation so you can select that so there you go so this is the exterior renovation and then you move to the interior renovation pace which is this one okay so basically that's how you use your paces so hopefully you learn something from this video thank you for watching guys have a nice day